Over the last six years, no high school football program in the state of Michigan has been more successful than Grand Rapids Catholic Central. You can look at total wins, winning percentage, conference championships, playoff wins, state championships, and the Cougars top them all. And CC's hard at work on the first day of high school football practice in 2022, trying to keep that level very high. Jason Hutton along with Brett Bakita here at beautiful Cougar Stadium at the Cougar Athletic Trail. And Brett, just to put those last six years into perspective, I mean, I put it right up there with the Peter Sturgeon East Grand Rapids teams of the 2000s. I mean, they've been that impressive. Yeah, Todd Colston and his staff have done an amazing job. I mean, three years, three state championships, two different divisions, one loss. That's it. COVID or not, one loss for this program for the Cougars over those three years in particular. And yeah, they're going to have to reload, but they're used to reloading. They lost a great senior class, though. But that's also what they're kind of used to with their numbers is kids coming up. And if they're ready to play as freshman or sophomore, they will, and Todd Colster is going to need some young guys to step up and fill those gaps for the Cougars this year. Well, and Coach Colster and Nate Van Timmer echoed those sentiments when we got to talk to him just a little bit earlier. Honestly, I think it's just knowing what you're doing, and because we have the skill, and I mean, a lot of newer kids they just got to figure out what football is to them and what they can do for the team. And I mean, we should be good, just as good as we were last year. And. I'm, I'm happy. We're excited. They need to lead our team. There's no question. We have several question marks, uh, like probably every team does. But the one thing I'm really excited about this group, we've got a lot of good, a good mixture of old and young and inexperienced, but they don't really know yet. And uh, sometimes that's also a good thing. And so uh, it's exciting as a coach because we know we're going to have to coach our guys really, really hard and get them ready. Three sophomores starting on the offensive line a lot last year. Those guys are back. That has to carry them, especially early, right? Absolutely. And Todd Colster loves having young linemen that come back yeah. that he can build on. That's a foundation. He loves teaching that position. But you look at this OK goal, Jay. I mean, it's going to be competitive. I think it's deep like the OK Blue was last year. We talked about with Unity Christian and West Catholic. I mean, Cedar Springs was right there, almost knocked off Catholic Central in the regular season last year. They're going to be a contender. South Christian, they're excited. They've got some good young linemen that are coming up through the ranks and very athletic. And then you throw in, you know, a team like a Forest Hills Eastern that's been on the radar. So this is going to be a really interesting division. But still, Catholic Central is the cougar on top of the mountain you got to knock off. Well, and the bus driver is going to get some overtime, especially the first two weeks because yeah. the Cougars go to Ann Arbor to open the season <laughs> against Port Huron at Michigan Stadium. And then week two, they'll be back on the east side of the state in Detroit to play Detroit Loyola. But when it all gets started, the Cougars will carry the longest winning streak in the state of Michigan at 37 games. Coming up tonight on Fox 17 News at 10, Remy Monahan continues our look at the first day of high school football practice as she visited the Portage Central Mustangs. And tomorrow, the Bikita and Book preseason tour rolls on to Unity Christian. For now, we'll send it back to the studio.